Okay, so this morning, I'm very emotional. Like I said, I don't want to really go into too much detail about what's been going on in my life. Um, but just a lot of frustrations. I mean, piled on top of each other since... I, I, I would say since my mom has, but it was even before then. And, and it, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Um, you need to put your blanker on. I hate I hate when people don't use their blinkers. That is such a... Anyway, you lack communication if you don't use your blinkers. Like, let people on the road know where you're going and what you're doing. But anyway, my dad came in and was like, what's wrong? Um, and I was just crying and crying. And I was just like, a lot of stuff. Like, I'm just... He was like, is it, is it mama? Is it, um, you know, your job? Is it this, that? I'm like, yeah, it's all of it. It's all of it, you know? And I, I'm, I try not to think about it. Because I'm trying to have crazy faith and delusional faith and just like live as if things are okay. Not in a way that I'm just like spending frivolously and doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that anyway. But just in a way where my vibration is one of I'm okay. Like life is good. I'm okay. Everything's fine type of vibration. My dad uh, was just like, pray, talk to God, read your Bible. And I'm like, I, I, I am and I, and I have been and I, you know do it more but I, I don't know. and he came back he knocked on the door and was like um get dressed you know go go take the car take yourself to the movies you know I, that's what i like to do um i could really go to the park and just sit there but i'm gonna go to the movies um just have an excuse to go to the mall just to walk around just to get around some people um and i just felt like that was a really sweet gesture he, he zelled me um like $45 and I really want to use it on some weed but I'm not but I'm not uh <laughs> I said let me go ahead and, and go to the mall I might not buy as much because I want to I need some lotion too like I need some other small stuff but yeah I just felt like that that really touched my heart that really touched my heart child I had to park way in the Hi. bed Okay. So, child, why did, hey God, it's me, Margaret, have me crying like a darn fool. I don't really know, but everything makes me emotional. Yes, child, Margaret had me crying like a darn In their ugly crime, like having to hold back my tears, like, <laughs> like I didn't know how much religion was a part of the movie. So that got me too, because as you know, or you might not know. I was raised in a very religious family. Christian. And Margaret's mom was Christian. Her dad was Jewish. She had never met her grandparents. Spoiler alert. She had never met her grandparents because they just own her mom after she married a Jewish man. And when you think about it, it's absurd. Religion is so personal, man. Like, it's not something that people give you. And you if you're a Christian and you're raised in a Christian home, that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You can thank your parent. Oh, thank you so much for giving me Jesus. For teaching me about God. For taking me to church. But there are some people like, I was raised in church my whole life and did not experience the love of his people in a way that felt transformative. When you're young, 
all you have is the people. So people be like, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not the church, it's the people. And, and it's not God that you run from. You have church hurt. It's the people. The people are the representatives of the religion. So if I go to a Christian church and they're all hateful and judgmental, I'm, I'm subconsciously putting God in that same box. Child, Margaret done gave me a word today. Anyway, I'm done. I'm about to take it on home.